Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know I didn't realize I was live. Hopefully the sheep is obvious. I told y'all they so stupid, slow and insipid. Maybe I need to start using I need to I need to go back to my um I need to go back to my um dictionary and thesaurus. Really not really. Eclectic. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> obviously these are pre-recorded videos because they don't, Falek don't uh, record, he don't uh, do interviews in real time. So Falek got your boy Tavis Smiley. I need to get my other device. Tavis Smiley, he related to Ricky Smiley. I don't even know. <clears throat> I don't even know. That's my seat, my, my chair, y'all. Because y'all know how the sheep and zombies like to make up and stir up fake news, kicking up, kicking up fairy tale dust. Tavis, 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 Tavis. <laughs> we finished talking about this interview, then we're gonna speak about um we're gonna speak about uh Ricky Smiley and Dougie Fresh. <laughs> yes, he don't do it like that or whatever, but these no that people don't know who Dougie Fresh is. I can tell by uh Ricky Smiley's views, man. Y'all might be sitting up there checking out people's views and stuff or whatever. I'll be wanting to see where they um uh, I be wanting to check the temperature in these YouTube streets. That on Dougie Fresh look good. Wait, hold on, tell you. Dougie Fresh look good for his age, y'all. I'm not finna be on here long because I have to. Um, I have to uh, get prepared to uh, do Wisdom Wednesday. <laughs> it's gonna drop a pre-recorded video. Gonna drop later on today, y'all. Probably one or two of them, depending on the mood, darling. Ducky Fresh look y'all see them frat boys up there flexing and stuff. How much you how much you paid the book Dougie Fresh or did he just happen to be Ricky play too many <coughs> Ricky play oh 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 that's Tom Jonah it's the Tom Jonah warning show <laughs> Oh yeah if y'all don't know what that old school radio you say no I don't fuck with child politics but I don't even know what Tom Jonah what politics is and I don't care it's not about politics, darling. Y'all, um, I'm here just to stick it up. I ain't want to lay it down. Y'all, if I don't really have, if I don't have meat or, or stuff to go to, I really don't like to sleep my hair down. I just like to just let it be. So that's what you see right here. <clears throat> it will sleep within uh, this Texas heat. <clears throat> People don't know who the hell Dougie Fresh is. He know how to do different things, though, y'all. He know how to do different things. Y'all call it beatboxing. <laughs> they don't know none of these, new, these newbies. I eat these fresh fish. I don't know nothing about that OG shit. They be thinking when you say the word OG, you talking about, you know what I'm saying? We talking about eclectic things, darlings. But, yeah, uh, people don't know who Dougie Fresh is. Boy, Ricky Smiley. And I'm like, that's all the views y'all finna give Dougie Fresh. That's how we know some of y'all need to go and have a motherfucking seat. Shut the fuck up and dribble around, Mr. James, respectfully. Dougie Fresh, he look good for his age. Hmm. I've seen him ladies down in the comments. I don't know him and I never met him, but he did meet Tucker. <clears throat> oh, Tucker has some good ballroom music. Yeah, we call it ballroom music. I ain't know he Dougie Fresh even met Tucker. Hmm, that was very interesting. They did a song together. I was like, what? Other people may talk or whatever. People really, I'm shy, y'all. I'm shy up until the point to where I told y'all the story last night when I just really, people wouldn't even realize I'm in a room. That's how quiet I be sometimes. It just depends on my mood. Y'all can find me ducked out. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see if I can. <laughs> y'all feel like do you all y'all can find me well it's not dark y'all could just be find me ducked off in a dark room somewhere <laughs> y'all can find me ducked off in a dark room somewhere i took my dress pants off y'all because i like to get comfortable i like to get comfortable so i don't put on i always have on like i have on a shirt or some shorts <clears throat> i took my dress pants off or whatever dougie fresh People don't know nothing about that. 
I, I I know if he started like saying a few lyrics from that that song, people will be you know what I'm saying they uh that well people that's familiar with it that can start even if they don't remember all the lyrics, once they hear it they can start uh <clears throat> rapping to it. I didn't know he was um Dirty Fresh is from a uh, Barbados. Well, he Barbados. Well, he, well, his people, his ancestry, Barbados, but he's American, represented at Queens, the NYC. That is very interesting. And like I said, y'all gonna have to do your own research in these YouTube streets. I can't keep on dropping all the gems. It's easy. You have technology at your fingertips, darlings. How you doing? Yeah, they don't know who Dougie Fresh is, y'all. So let's go to Ta <coughs> Tavis, 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 Smiley. How you doing? Tavis, boy, y'all be getting, y'all be looking like y'all be smoking that ganja. <laughs> y'all always be doing them deep, damn, damn Valet interview. Valet need a nickname, y'all. What should we call them? The Twelves or uh, the them people, the jump out boy? <laughs> All you're going to see jump out is some people from a blast from the past, like Tavis, Smiley. What you doing? <clears throat> he talking about Prince. Everybody love Prince. They like that purple ring. Tab is up here flexing, y'all. He said Prince gave him a guitar. Gave him the guitar. Boy, let me find out. <clears throat> B-O-I. Y'all know people that's born in certain eras, they be like, I is no boys. I ain't a boy. <clears throat> I don't get easily offended. Y'all, Tavis Mall put up to a uh, valet. I'm going to call him SB. Oh, no, that sound weak. Stock boy. Valet need a nickname. That way we're really talking about him when people want to talk that shit. You want to talk to Valet, boy. If you see the hamburger, get on there. And if y'all don't know who the hamburger is at this point in time and space, then you've been sleeping, man. And you're taught it for the cyber party. <clears throat> I didn't drink enough water today, you guys. Tavis Smiley. Then he said, Eric, Prince wanted to meet Eric Dyson for what? <laughs> Them hot tips. Maybe back in the day, they used to do something in their eras, in their times, and it benefited them and, and only them, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Don't get me to reading. I ain't reading no paper, y'all. I ain't doing no comprehensive reports that I already sent out my emails. Um... Yeah, I'm sitting up there not, not no Eric Dyson. See, Chris is sweet like that because me <clears throat> and people on some bullshit, I don't even want to, I don't want to be in the same room with you. It's a, it's, it's a difference between individuals being completely naive or them trying to, they never try to problem solve y'all. All they do is try to chastise you and it benefited them. They went to school for free. And some of them didn't go absolutely free or whatever, but education was a lot better when it comes to being able to pay off debts. And I don't think they had to worry about student loan fraud. But that is just besides the point or whatever, because certain type of issues are going to be fixed by hook or crook or whatever. And that's what you call self-government. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, Eric Dyke. I don't sit in any room. I don't go to any location. Not that Tav is worried about me because he's never met me and I has never met him neither or whatever. But when Valet put up in a certain type of interviews or whatever, people would be like, how you doing? And then we want to hear some fun story. Not no messy, sloppy ass stories. Not them type of stories. But Eric, Eric Dyson know he full of shit. He still be doing his little interviews and I just be like, la, 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 la. I don't even press, I don't even press play no more. <laughs> Yes, uh uh. These hotels are new. That's the our generation. And that's why individuals had to, as the generation coming behind, the other ones who basically told us they were probably about every, every lie in the book. A slave. <laughs> Can y'all come back, y'all, history tree on either side of your ancestry or whatever? I need WD 40. Uh, to about two to three to 500 years because I can't. I don't ask all my great 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 
And nobody was a slave. I'll show y'all. I might show you a picture. They all looking like them. <laughs> Have on suits and stuff or whatever. Yeah, but uh, every Dyson full of shit. We're not even going to spend too much time on him because we don't want to <laughs> channel him, darlings. A lot of them, we don't have, black people don't have any, first and foremost, individuals who influenced you should be your hero. So we do not go into looking inside of uh, history books, trying to search for a hero or whatever, because those are not our ancestors. And that's why DNA lineage, ge genealogy, that's why it's important. It's very imperative. And as far as Prince, we keep on our princes. Prince, I guess he's, he's not shy if he's around people that he's comfortable with. And no, I never met him. He just bellowed out when he came to New Orleans. <clears throat> People are like, Princess, I was like, whatever. I was not paying him no more. I'm like, whatever. Because they know that I love, like, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Prince. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, I got the Prince. I was like, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> then they just, no, literally, I had the tickets or whatever. And I was like, let me see it. And then I'm sitting up there, as always, I'm jumping up and out. Because you know that's what I do when people sit up there on a bling bling or whatever. I'm jumping. I'm like, oh, my God. They're going to pick us up in the limos or whatever they had. People call it. And I'm just like, wait. I'm like, no. Y'all could go. Because I'm i going to pay my own ticket. I don't care if I have to wait a few years. But they're eventually going to be like Caesar's home. And they're going to, you know, come closer to where individuals can purchase their own ticket. So they don't have to sit up there and capity cap cap. You heard me. <clears throat> Freya Prince, they had to literally kick his ass out. He would not stop sinking. And and so he I guess I seen an open up for him, right? And I told this once before, and I'm not gonna go into great detail because I might start crying. Tears of joy. And so I'm sitting up there and you know we had to go, we dropped them off. We had to go and pick up. <clears throat> I picked them up. If I say, girl, if I would have known that you know who August Asuna was, I would ne never give you my tickets. And if I would have known that we would never see or, you know what I'm saying, hear Prince Bella a note other than streaming it, I would never have given you my ticket. She just wasn't. I'm like, girl, why did you just to say that you went to see Pr Darling? I was absolutely pissed off. I didn't let it show, though. I was just looking like... <laughs> Bitch, I truly really want to choke you, but I didn't. <clears throat> but as I'm thinking, and I, he seemed like he's the type to just give it all, give it his all when he's performing to y'all. Cause that how you can hear people, the echoes and like, all right, it's time to go, whatever. And people, most people had already started walking out. He's still just singing and saying, and I was like, how the hell can we even hear her from the street singing? So we in the car. I don't remember if I was driving or someone else, and I'm just like crying. Because I still can't believe that Prince is in New Orleans. And I just, just tears are just like, just rolling down my eyes, y'all. And then I was like saying, I'm sorry, I say, Prince, we'll see you. We're going to come and see you. know, <clears throat> if he was to go to concert again, I would have sit up there and went and seen him wherever he was. But that's why I say I got to give people their flowers while they are here, babies, darlings. And yeah, people look a little kind of crazy for like, because it's V, I mean, K R A Z Y. Because people are like, fuck. So I have to give people their flowers while you're here or whatever, because it's like stuff like that. And when that happened, that's when I just was like, well, I'm finna get some more flowers too. A lot of people made a good impact. That don't necessarily have to be in your face like this. <clears throat> Then he said Prince loved his people. We <laughs> Prince, oh, he was one of those JWs, y'all. Prince is a Jehovah Witness. The, the modern Jehovah Witness are weird as fuck. I don't do religion. I'm spiritual. I was raised in the Baptist church, though. But when I say Prince on his heart, I, I was just like, <sighs> like a baby all over again, y'all. <clears throat> I began so just geeked up or whatever. And I still, I had the pen, I'm like, I know I'm not hearing, I'm, the radio is not on, but I'm hearing Prince. <sighs> <clears throat> Prince.
Prince, like, uh, I'm not nature nature, but he paid attention to the sky. And that's all I'm going to say about that or whatever. He did some pretty cool interviews. I didn't see them all because, really, I liked it. I don't know. <clears throat> I like it, but <clears throat> I was going to say I like it. It's like things to be mysterious. But he kept it mysterious, though, until IG went blank. <laughs> I was like... People forgot all about that, huh? The sheep and zombies did. <clears throat> and IG went bananas. I think Prince or whoever, whatever, almost broke the internet. It's just blank. Blank white square. So Tavis Smiley is flexing his little, flapping his wings, darlings, because he had Prince's guitar, which is pretty awesome. And he also uh, said he was Prince's friend for over 20 years. And I ain't no Prince guitar for four hours. He shot not four hours, Prince. Yeah, Prince and my, Michael Jackson really had just like a distinct whatever. <clears throat> and people concentrate more on the music and, you know, the things that they that comes out of their mouths versus... And when Michael got to the point to where he was getting pissed off, he really let, let him have it. He was like, Michael started standing up for himself, y'all. And it was so, that's why I don't care if I curse like a sailor. And I seen Mike, <laughs> Mike, he stop pressuring me. Stop fucking with me. Stop mm, 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 me. Mm, mm, mm. Scream. And I'm not talking about the movie. Oh, I used to get pumped up when I was doing it. I used to get pumped up on that or whatever. But, oh, how Tavis. I would have hung up too or whatever. <laughs> I would have hung up. It's like people are like, you Prince Khan? I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> still not getting dressed. Still not even. And then when I seen it, I was like, whoo. And I was like, I would have been in all purple if I would have went to see him. Everything, every, my hair, everything would have been purple, darling. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> Prince is in a better place. Yes. Prince is like it, bitch. Just call him the artist, darlings. I need I need a sound effect machine. Cash app enemy me greatly glad because I know you're good for <laughs> People be sitting up there. These hotels be begging and shit. <laughs> Maybe not be getting mad and cussing people. I think you don't send them no money. Uh, oh my god, Tab, Tab is like, you sound like Joe Rogan, he was like, Chris Pratt is like my friend, no, my friend friend, <laughs> now Tab is smiling, it's like, no, Prince, no, he's not just like any four hour, we're having lunch in LA type of friend, no, he's like my friend friend of 20 years, and he gave me his guitar, <laughs> who can top that? <laughs> I have reached my maximum. <laughs> But I still have short and long term goals. <laughs> I don't know if anybody can top this. <laughs> I'm not even trying to compete with you in <laughs> Prince's four hour uh, talk, darling. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can have Cornell. Cornell West is full of shit, too. And there's no shade or whatever. People say, respect what? Not no hotel shit. And some day the shit sounds good. What about the actions, though? And we don't need no assistance no more. But I guarantee you that. Yeah. Individuals did not depend on no HBCUs, no Ivy Leagues, no shade Ivy Leagues, no shade Harvard, <laughs> Harvard. Yeah, and it's shameful though, whatever. But I'm not even finna. I'm not about to revisit those uh West Side horror stories, darlings. Ain't real horror. It's just motherfucking some clown shit. Now me bit pick up the phone. Um, do you do you think we're gonna protest and march and be like Black Power protesting? Where is my pen? I protest with the power of the pen. People are like, it sure do take it. It does take change. It takes a long time for change to come. Didn't y'all hear that? Didn't y'all hear Mr. Sam Cook say that? Oh, I like that song too, y'all. I think they just thought that they were going down a certain path or whatever and thought that path was going to create avenues to where <clears throat> individuals coming behind them would not have to be subjected to unnecessary injustice. But they were wrong. And uh, we respect what they did for them. They did it for their culture. They did it for their era, whatever. So 2022, and even from the 80s, well, no, we're going to say from the 60s ongoing, 
when it comes to financial literacy, y'all, that's why I say some of the ones that they present to us be full of bullshit. And you can tell because why? The only thing that they're going to do is communicate and be like chatterboxes amongst each other to where they're not truly being academically or intellectually challenged, basically. And when I say challenged, I'm not speaking about using cellular words or language. No. They just want to just sit up in a room and nod or get at round tables. So what do you think we're going to do today? Play pinky in the brain and try to take out the world? And I'm desperate or whatever when I say trying to take over the world or whatever. They will literally be at their, in the, at their little round type. But what do you think the Negro should get to? What? They should get whatever the fuck they work for, obviously. It's short, short, simple, and sweet. But I don't want to get all into that. Eric Dyson, I would never, ever, ever. I don't even spit on him if he was on fire. And I would never, I would not acknowledge him. Like if I ever bumped into these individuals, which I won't because I'm not where they be at. And I don't want to be because I we create our own tables. Uh, I would I wouldn't even no I'll just be like, you a proud probably pull a uh, be like I'm blind. Hmm, I was blind, but now I see. What if individuals were never blind? They just could smell the bullshit from a mile away. So yeah, they be like you protest, they march for what? What did it change? Over two to four hundred years later, what? it change and that's why people like to do fun stuff and I'm gonna start this channel is really gonna go through some transitions every once in a while y'all gonna see me do my skits or whatever to where I'm falling out the chair and stuff people are like what is wrong it's theater arts baby drama improv it's all sorts of things or whatever it's also a lot of gym and jewel dropping because uh just about every episode is a teachable moment basically you know, I don't protest and be like, take it down. They can take down every single statue and it will still be just a little bit of, yeah, not a little bit. It'll still be some seeds of injustice down in New Orleans, that is. And why are they riding at the, uh, at the, uh, at the, at the, uh, whatchamacallit, y'all? Is Guzman still, do y'all want me to pull up on Guzman again? I don't cuss him out. I know how to speak to people, but Guzman was like, he ain't gonna shake my hand. I ain't extended because I'm a woman. You're supposed to extend your hands to me because I'm a lady. But the uh, other individuals did or whatever, and they didn't have any problem. Then they some big. I was like, God damn, I feel like a midget. I said, as long as y'all don't pat my head and be like, all right, project girl. Yeah, Guzman just looked at me. I remind him of somebody. Y'all don't worry about Guzman. And we ain't saying stuff have to be perfect, but uh, it don't have to be inhumane either. Arlene's Parish. <laughs> we ain't talking about this, man. I told you, it's really random chit and chat or whatever. People be thinking, why should do that? Because sometimes individuals have a hard time keeping up with certain type of things or whatever. Whenever you're talking about different subject areas, but they really connect together in a sense, depending on what subject matters you're speaking about. And it also will all, all always have a you can pinpoint pinpoint the ori the origination the origin basically. So that's why people go all over the place because it doesn't whatever subject matter you're speaking about it's always going to at some point in time and space include finance, economics, sociology, behavior science, English, mathematics, or sometimes the math doesn't math or whatever. I don't do um uh, like. Well, when it comes to love, yeah, chemistry, but individuals who are science majors, they are the nerds, I mean, the prodigies and the <clears throat> geniuses. I'm a nerd because I'm not a prodigy and I'm not a genius, basically. Those are developers, innovators, and individuals who know how to do different type of things or whatever, especially if you can break down a computer or break down a game, a console, and rebuild it with your bare hands, basically. Like some Bill Gates shit. But I ain't never see Bill build a computer. How many of you used to do the thing puzzles on the Apple thing? People used to laugh at me when I did that too. They were like, they thought I was slow or something. I don't get that about like certain type of uh people. It's like I've been reading since I was two years old. And um, they just laugh like, why do you keep doing a puzzle? Because each time you do it, it sometimes it get a little bit more complicated, basically. 
And also, I used to play Carmen San Diego or whatever because it teaches you about geography or whatever. And you also have to you lose use common sense and use certain type of clues to try to find out where Carmen ran off to, basically. So the computer should the mind the point I'm getting at, because I've already done this on a different um blog. I just didn't do it here. Um the point that I'm getting at is um computers have been around for quite some time. Now the fashion in which te technology has uh revolutionized or whatever it's a little bit different, but individuals been playing with computers. And no, I am not a hacker. Can have I done some cool stuff? Yes, I have. And I don't do illegal hacking, basically, or whatever. <clears throat> and I don't like to speak about all the other sides or whatever. Don't need no fraudulent slip starlings. Yeah, so I like to hear things from the horse's mouth. But uh, Tavis ta 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 be sitting up there. Boy, I'm not trying to revisit the blast from the past talking about Prince. All I'm going to think about is, oh, when he was singing, 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 singing his heart. I'm talking about just singing, y'all. And finally, they probably, you could, you could just hear some stuff in there. I don't know how you could just, for some reason, we could hear whatever little things that were going on inside. So I know they basically had to kick his ass out. They started turning off the lights and shit. He was still. And that seemed like something that Prince would do or whatever. They say other artists be giving, putting on a good performance too because individuals feel as if their people are going to come out and pay their money, they're going to give it all that they got, basically. So Tavis Smiley sent up their flicks and he got the good tour. More power to you, who? And he's saying Eric, Eric who? Cornell West who? Oh, hmm, how you doing? I have better conversation speaking to Tommy Williams. <laughs> And no, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy is like, you guys can reach out to me or whatever. I don't have to reach out to you. I don't bug people. And that's why a lot of people are like, mm. some people be having a boss to be like, oh, they'll come up if I'm sitting in the corner and look in my eyes and be like, why are you sitting over here? Like, I just come to watch people perform and watch people act and just do different things. And uh, sometimes they'll never know that I'm there unless they're curious and they come and be like, that's what they used to do to me when I used to go and watch people perform. When I was on Twitter, people would not speak to me. And I know why now or whatever. I guess something frightens them or whatever. Do I look like an alien to you? <laughs> and Joe Rogan, you you're you're shipping zombies on your on your uh your little <laughs> I was trying to say your little campus. <laughs> You know, it's not a circus, but some of them, they're not dumb. The audience isn't dumb or whatever. They're a little bit naive, not naive, but they don't pay attention to detail, basically. The individuals don't be so if they're sprinkling no comments down and uh, below that or whatever. Not the way these sheep and zombies be flagging in the YouTube streets. But it's a good thing to be curious or whatever. I don't know what the sheep's and the, cl the clowns, this gamma's in these two streets, y'all. That was like, oh, your people are gonna, the cat image means curious. At least it does to me. It doesn't mean, oh, what mean it's gonna be a call when you're gonna die alone or whatever. I am taken. So, them gamers need to go and play. Tell them I don't even know what's going on. Because, you know, they didn't have all this shit going on back in their heydays. It was what it was, and it is what it is. Now you have little uh clowns acting like little girls. Right? And they got some... Guys got some more than girls, and you guys are also very strange creatures. I don't so much pay attention to the clowns unless I basically just, like, drag ass across the YouTube streets one more time. Or a few times. And then I'll just like leave it alone unless they truly like want a response. But then when people give them a response, then they channel implode and explode, basically. Or at least that's what usually happens. And it doesn't even require flagging people's channel. The only time that channel get flagged is if they take people's voice, their brand, their likeness, and put it on and basically stream it and, and beg for donation off of content they did not create, i.e., it's still intellectual property, basically, unless y'all make agreements. They don't have to be contractual agreements. People could be like, oh, okay, if you allow me to post you, then you could post me. And da, 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 da. Oh, thank you, Sierra. Sierra did a magic trick. It was a magic, darlings, but look, if you blink too fast, you'll miss the truth. <laughs> that was the sweetest thing, Russell. 
Let me get back to Tavish, y'all. I like to bounce all around. That was the sweetest thing. Sierra said, now you see it? Bitch, now you don't. <laughs> that was funny. That was some ape shit. That was some Halloween shit from a few years ago. It was so hilarious, you guys. I was like, now I see Aaron. <laughs> People was all geeked up. I was like, girl, like, calm down or whatever. It's not even that serious. But she was like, everybody else freaked out. I was like, that. Just see her, girl. <laughs> so that's the fantastic thing about technology because then you get to tell people that you love them. Like, people, look, I can at least admit, you know, even when I'm covering people music or whatever or their interviews, I can still remain impartial because that's what you're supposed to do as a civic journalist, basically, reporting for civic duty as well. So when it, but when it comes to it, if people already know I am a barb. So there you have it. There are no secrets to that. <laughs> no secrets to that, darlings. And then they're talking about all oh, the chips. All right, it could be menage a trois, uh, truffles. Like that ain't no big deal. People they live for some rumors, y'all. They live for the gossip, and we live for the truth. So the cool thing about technology is you get to sit up there and basically, you ain't got to be getting on a plane no more. You can just be like, I love you, Nikki. That's what, yeah, Barb's going to tell Nikki, be like, I love you. And she'll be like, I love y'all too. She's going to say y'all because it's too many y'all. It's millions of y'all. You can't, <laughs> her hand will fall off of you. Can you imagine Nikki saying thank you, thank you, thank you like 53 million times? I cannot imagine that, darlings. Yeah, I did like this. It reminded me of when people autographed and stuff. Deion Sanders. Thank you very much, darling. How are you doing? That was years ago, too. Almost 20 years. Now, ask me my age now. Communication is your partner and clarity is your friend. Now, I'm giving people tips or whatever because they'd be like, what do you use? Water for my face, y'all. That's all. That's it. That's all. And I had a huge bump in just leave it alone. Let it, let it do what it's going to do. Do a little warm towel or a cool towel. Let it do what it's going to do. Don't play with it and now it's gone. Because at first when I started doing videos, I used to be not self-centered, but I'm like, oh my God, people are going to. I'm like, no, it's good for individuals to see you in your natural form. Pimples or no pimples. But I truly think so. I uh, had an allergic reaction to something. And then it just, from there, <clears throat> formed like some type of whitehead. And it did what it was going to do naturally. But yeah, technology is, is so cool. You don't have to be popping on no planes and stuff. I'm definitely not getting no water. I'm going to cruise, y'all. I'm going to turn down so many troops. And they'd be absolutely free with no strangers attached. But I've also been busy working. So so I just like, y'all used to join me when I used to sit on a couch. Now y'all can join me. <laughs> I was going to sing a song, but I ain't going to sing it. <laughs> There's a meeting in my bed. And no, this is not an Airbnb. And you know, people probably thought, I think people thought this was a hotel because of. Because of that light. <clears throat> when y'all catch some on sale, make sure you grab it. Because I got one, I was like. I should have got two of them, but it's too late now because it's hard for me to find it. Mm-mm-mm. Valet is very... Who is that guy behind the camera? Don't come from behind the camera. All they going to do is, oh, you look like that? <laughs> People used to thought I was like a white girl or a Russian wearing 200 pounds or something. Joe Rogan, do I look like a monkey to you, sir? Because when I was looking at the... Uh, not the animal channel. I was looking at apes and stuff. Because I like to look at chimpanzees. And, you know, I like to see how animals behave amongst one another. Real animals from the animal kingdom. And they say that chimpanzees or apes normally is like four to five feet tall. Depending on the gender. And that they weigh about 200 pounds. So do I look like a UFO, Russian, alien ape to you, sir? Caesar is home. <laughs> when I saw that movie for the first time, you guys, years ago, oh my, who didn't cry? You're lying if you didn't cry when he said, Caesar is home. I saw that clip again last night and I cried. <laughs> my, tears was, <laughs> my eyes probably still, I was just like, oh, that was one of my favorite parts in that movie. Y'all. 
I'll be getting um Every time I talk, I be thinking of song. I said, I was about to say, I get so emotional then. <laughs> he be like, I get so emotional, baby. Every time I come. Yeah. I don't know why that happens. Probably because I love music so much. Not all, all kind of music, but I don't drill because it's just like, it just went to a whole different level. People got to keep it. People used to bebop on the corner. Bebop. Bebop. We call it something different in New Orleans, so it might sound funny to y'all. But um, it's the same thing. <clears throat> People used to do battle raps on the corner or whatever. Sometimes they'll put that money down and whoever went da 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 And people really knew how to, like, be mint or whatever and walk away from a battle. And sometimes, I don't know what's going on. That's why we said the youth need something. And they, they don't have to necessarily have a hero. They can find a hero within themselves. That can also be innate. But I'm not, I used to mentor uh, boys. Uh, boys just be staring at you. They, it's hard for them to concentrate. But that's why I say so they need more doers rather than talkers. Because I know when I, if I did go back out into the field and I dealt with little black boys, they would respond. They respond well for the most part. <clears throat> I know when it comes to like real uh, like progression and change or whatever. Other groups tend to perform a little bit better when it comes to any type of um, recidivism or any type of rehabilitation or modifying their behaviors, basically. So I did, I was able to identify that when working with different groups of individuals, which I don't speak about too often because um, I have, it has to like be put like right there or whatever, because that's why, that's why black men who do not behave like clowns matter. And I think individuals have gone to the point to where these little boys are so traumatized and they probably suffer from PTSD at this point in time and space, depending on what type of things that they saw growing up. And they probably were not taught nor trained how to cope with things in a positive manner, i.e. this coping mechanisms. So that's the unfortunate thing about it all. That's why it's like people be doing the most in these YouTube streets and you don't know if a 16, 17, 18, 21 year old, sometimes people can be 21 and still be lost in the sauce. Not of not by their own accord, but they could just still be lost in the sauce because they were not taught any better basically. And then people used to be like, they need more love in here. I know I curse like a silly and I be dragging people asses. It's because it's a personal accountability and responsibility is important. And some individuals just think that they just be like, they'll just say some stuff and be like, uh, was that a dog whistle, sir? Not you, Tavis. I'm talking about somebody else in the YouTube streets. Because people don't have time for dog whistles. <clears throat> so... And uh, I'm gonna I'm have to call him. I want to call him Chubby Chase, but that's somebody's moniker or either real name from like a movie. It's somebody who's dressed. They want to be on Vlad's show. I I don't even know Vlad. And even if I did, darling, so. <laughs> Vlad was like, you remember <laughs> when you was a pro <laughs> Um and that's how real men do. They just sit up there and just roll with it or whatever and let spats be spats or whatever. And other individuals, they just be sitting up there gossiping like some mean girls, basically. And it's very awkward. And so, yes, I be performing, you guys. But I, it also be teachable moments and it be a lot of jewel dropping. But at the end of the day, I've never seen so many like awkward individuals who fake believe that they're like alphas and fake believe that they are like darling if the club was dark like <laughs> ricky smiling is just like bro huh? if the club was dark so <laughs> yes, step, step into the <laughs> y'all know how y'all ever been been to a club this random i told you and individuals be want to get know you and i know i be in the dark but people at least can come and be like oh okay whatever for the most part some people already know who i am depending on if i, t if I tell them um i'm gonna be there or be square 
Take the cap off. Take the shades off, darlings. No, not move, Ricky Smiley. No, not you, Dougie Fresh. You still look good for your age. With or without that cap and with or without them shades, darlings. Y'all want to look at him, y'all. He aged like... He aged with grace. Y'all thought I was going to say fine, like fine wine. He aged with grace. Take the cap off. Come on. Take the shades off. All right. Now smile. It ain't got to be a perfect smile. Your teeth are not supposed to be perfect, white, pearly white. That's for horses. Oh, okay. Oh, ain't nobody checking for clowns. I'm monstered up, and I don't fuck with clowns. Y'all checked out that versatility that Drake and uh, Nicki Minaj dropped? Y'all need to check out Looking Ass. I think I put a link in there in, uh, below in the description of the other video from yesterday. I don't even know if the video has dropped, but it will. Do not share the videos, you guys. Y'all notice I don't say, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for tuning into Crowns and Tea with your favorite means girl, mean girl, your fabulous, most sweetest tech princess, Emmy Greatly. You dig? <clears throat> I don't say, please like, share, and subscribe for individuals who are trying to grow their channels organically. Please like, share, and subscribe their channels, that is. <clears throat> and we appreciate your support. And I also used to do this thing called pull up gate or whatever. <laughs> George, just, just wouldn't think he invented some shit, darling. I've been pulling up on people, darling, with the shades or whatever. And I take my shades. I'd be like, you really travel all across, like, way to hundreds, hundreds of miles just to. It's like, yes. That's what real support is, ain't it? When you love your people. I love all kinds of people, though, but I especially love individuals who uh, love themselves, basically. I don't need individuals to lower their IQ in order to hold a conversation that's constructive with them, basically. And I definitely don't like to hold a conversation with individuals that's going to be yes men or yes women and just put their tails between their legs. And that's what they, the sheep in his eye, the, the gammas in there, too, that's what the clowns do. They'll put their tail between their legs and they keep pretending like they're talking to the leg. Now keep pretending like they're talking to Valet or whatever. But if you want to go on his... I mean, make your mind up. First, he's a, a racist. They pull the same shit. And Valet is a donkey. He's a Democrat. They pull the same shit on him or whatever. Oh, he's anti this, anti... Oh, fool. I never you see on his channel. Then you're oh, why Valet sit up and had a hamburger? He won't have me. You can't make this shit up, y'all. I need a sound effect machine. <clears throat> Hilarious. If people treat Tavis Smiley or other individuals like, y'all know people obviously they can recognize Prince. Y'all know those people treat you different or whatever, depending on who they see you with or depending on if they can um use you. That's what individuals in the YouTube streets remind me of. Not all of them, because other individuals have been paving their way for about 10 or 15 years. Now, in my 10 or 15 years, I've been doing outreach, really getting in the trenches. Getting it from the, the grit, the, it's the grit, the blood, the sweat, and the tears in the trenches. It's called outreach, public administration, and community service. And no, we did not always get paid for it. Many years, sometimes you just volunteer your work, volunteer yourself for civic duty. This go around Congress, I want to get paid for my research, though. Thank you, darlings. Let me see. You guys, guess what? I went to this, this eerie, right? It was so fucking gross. And I'm not going to put them on blast or whatever. I should, <laughs> but I'm not. I was like, never again. Or the customer service was excellent. The food was absolutely horrible. I should have just stuck with what I knew, Craig. Sorry, Apple Martini, please. Thank you for asking. They was like, who's Craig? He's an author, y'all. Y'all don't pay attention. I know I, I know just about all the cool people in the YouTube streets. Valet was like, am I cool now? <laughs> That wasn't Valet. I can tell that was not Valet. He was not the interviewer. And those are pre-recorded videos, I believe. Because Valet doesn't shoot in real time. I don't know. Is he afraid of the camera? Y'all boys are weird. Am I being pranked? Because I don't know Kanye kept testing me. I'm like, you really want to, you really don't think I, I, can, I can't pick up a pen? You really don't think that I ain't been in no studio? You really think I can't drop lyrics, poetry? I know I can't sing. I ain't the voice. That's Whitney. Orlando Brown. Who's y'all top 10? 
Let me know down below in the comments. Yeah, what up? Oh, welcome. Oh, wow, darling. And why why is it that y'all know how y'all be having these bootleg bloggers who don't even blog or whatever? I'm going to be all over the place, I told you. Why come when individuals sit up there and they cam up and they know that they're about to be on someone's show? Why they just be sitting up there in a bed? Have they bonus? That is not professional. Now, y'all see me have my shorts on or whatever, but I'm not interviewing anyone. I am sitting up here trying to uh, get individuals to just speak candidly and still have some mystery. Just like still let mystery just like be there. So that was the spectacular part about Prince Michael Jackson until they pissed him off. Because Michael was like, I ain't here for the shit no more. And you could tell there's stuff come out in people music. But not all the time or whatever. But individuals also can, you know what I'm saying? Just be like. Feeling the vibes and the atmosphere or whatever and just feel it through their soul that when it comes to injustice, you gotta you gotta bellow out the the artistry. I.e. talent. But yeah, am I being pranked? Cause the things that I see <laughs> I'm just curious. The things that I see, y'all will see certain type of individuals go to the same as that you know, I do not wanna be I'm a filet. He's the director and so am I. Now what he's not is the makeup artist, the hairstylist, the wardrobe. Uh, what do you call the wardrobe people again, you guys? I keep on, I said something really cute last night or whatever. Oh yeah, I guess the, uh, look, we're just gonna say wardrobe, all right? I'm everything. The producer, executive producer, writer, and Arthur darlings. Thank you for asking. And they keep calling uh, Vlad, Vlad I don't even know if that's that boy's first name, and I don't know because I will wait for people to say what their name is so you can be like, hello, how are you doing? What brought you to this thing called entertainment and directorship? <laughs> directorship. Yeah, we from the South. We have a tendency to just add an S, a extra S to stuff or whatever like that. I was tired of being neighborly. And I is tired of being friendly. And I is ain't giving it my all, darlings. Because I is ain't trying to audition. Hippie be stars, but I can't pay extra at net for $200, darling. Mm -hmm. I learned from others. Now, when he said, my neck, my back, my neck and my back. Rest in peace, AJ. It was AJ? Yeah, something like that. Um... Who are your favorite artists and entertainers, you guys? The ones that don't be doing the most. Because <laughs> some of them, they do the absolute most or whatever. But what does it say about strategic marketing and branding, basically? We just off just them. To each his own. So, you guys. And I'm not going to read it out because y'all know the one behind the scenes. They really, okay, okay, Mr. James. I see you, boy. I see you, fly guy. He taking. He is taking, y'all. Y'all want to see him? He is fly, too. Oh, I have to be seen. I want y'all reading no problem, Mr. He is taking. And when you see his wife, y'all epitome of black love. You're try trying to told you, Will Smith. She look real good for her age, y'all. She way older than us. Come on, I'll be doing all. Let me turn this down. I don't want you uh interrupting my broadcast. You know how they had to like the straight. I think I might need to go to the studio next time y'all so I could do some of my own beats. But I have DJ beats though. They don't be tripping. They say you could use beats for uh non promotional purposes and for non profit purposes. I say that is. Thank you, DJs. Go, DJ. I say no dreams are too small nor too large. Always remember to believe in yourselves, darlings. No matter what your desire or passions are. I love theater, but my passions were different because, uh, oh, excuse me, besides, there were quite a few unnecessary technical hiccups with cyber, so I had to go ahead and get back in the field, y'all. So you know how that goes. All in all is social experiences and social humor, which make humans more alike than different. 
and it takes real civic discourse and engagement. Developing a sense of um, humor is healthy for your soul, basically. It keeps you from being fake, outraged by silly things, like every single thing is racist. Make it make sense. And that does not do remove any claims as it pertains or relates to any forms of discrimination, no matter color and or creed, no matter sexual orientation and or preference. The only way individuals can learn more about one another Sometimes take having the most difficult conversations, even if they are uncomfortable. If you haven't learned anything at all, bare minimum equals you should have learned how to enhance your customer service skills, verbal skills, critical thinking skills, listening skills, interpersonal skills, and or communication skills. Even with the subtle language in all darlings, teachable moments are imperative. And I should I should have just hit this, y'all. That's why I should hit. Cut it. <laughs> I truly need a sound effect machine. So now I'm about to sit up there and archive stuff because y'all know when I'm doing my little uh, post that you guys can see because I blog on a different platform. Um. So I say, good morning, America. For those who keep secrets, simply say Irish Canary. Where is Joe Rogan? No toes on I. Why I feel like I'm, am I being pranked? Cause that's how I felt in the casino when I got kicked out of Harris. This tea is smoking. All right, remember you guys and girls, if you touch a life, one life, one life, one life together, you can create chain reactions, that is. And then I wrote something else, whatever. This is what I put on it, y'all. Oh, is it gonna do it? I put Betty Boop and she's like blinking and she's like behind a cup of little red tea with a little heart in the front of it and says, good morning, friends. <laughs> So yeah, four hours is required and eight, Joe Rogan is a luxury. And hey, Mike Baker, I don't know, I can't see your clearance, sir, but uh, thank you for your service if you are a real human being, let alone human. <laughs> All right, I don't wanna read anymore. I was just talking about performative arts, playbills, and more about critical thinking exercises and uh, uh, sophisticated technology and a uh, kinetic positive energy basically synergy and the side Joe Rogan is like in martial arts he sure is and now people don't know psychedelics I'm not I don't know uh, Mike Tyson shit might be like what do you mean <laughs> I'm like what I... Mike has grown a lot you guys I don't agree with y'all. I don't. I don't even want to. I don't care about politics or whatever because it's bigger than entertainment. I told Brian or try to encourage him and let him know it's bigger than shut the fuck up and drool. Now, did you market that yet, darling? It's bigger than the NFL. It's bigger than the NBA, darlings. You know, back in the day, what were you doing before we had all this stuff? We used to throw. We use concrete rocks, y'all. What y'all know about that? What y'all know about that, Mr. Magic? And it's remarkable. People cry like, how is it, um, uh, how is it possible because you can turn impossible into, into what? I said, I said it, you're impossible. <laughs> Cut it. You see how that's universal? So that's why a certain type of conversation and low vibrational and low, uh, low vibration, no, low hanging fruit try to uh, have. I don't truly participate in it. Every once in a while you'll see me respond to it. Sometimes I just like drag a little, dr come here, get over here, pull a scorpion or whatever. But for the most part, you don't have to be fixated on colorism. And if they used to be the same people. They'd be like, oh, you're black yourself. If you're black yourself, beautiful, then why do you sit up there and just like, why are you brainwashing your audience? Why are you brainwashing those who come in from behind you? I'm from the project and I've never seen anything of this magnitude before, but it's all for the purpose of, of, of ho-tapping and cloud chasing, basically. 
And it's perfectly fine or whatever, but uh, uh, 50, 50 or 100 years later, they still gonna be like, oh, it's the white people, it's the red people. White people are not telling their girls to hate themselves. And if you permit and promote any type of disrespect, then maybe you will have to do a, a self check, check yourself, basically. Individuals are gonna come out, it's gonna be some influencers, gonna, they're probably gonna drop tomorrow on Friday. That's what I'm predicting, or that's what I suspect, basically, because they haven't been in YouTube streets in about a, a few days. And see, you'll have these fake bloggers that even if they're talking about regular people or influencers or personalities and stuff, they just be spreading disinformation and spreading lies and rumors, basically. And people gonna start suing them, y'all. Um, <laughs> I was about to say something, but I'm gonna just hold that thought. <laughs> other people will sit on store like i sit on a whole bunch of content or whatever i have content up here that i ain't even drop yet or whatever i'm just holding it you know what i'm saying in a cloud that way if i if somebody gets salty i'll just click a button and, and it'll drop and it'll automatically respond or whatever but hopefully i could just hold it and hold it and hopefully just hold it and archive it basically so you have other individuals who await, no matter if they're going to speak or report about music, celebrity, whether a song has flopped or if it's motherfucking piping hot or whatever. And they just like uh, sit on it, uh, sit on it. And then you have the disruptors and they don't care what they report long as they are. Like if TMZ was to report something and they know that they report some fake, if they want to do a, 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 a mock test or trial, people repeat. It's like. A horrible fashion of parroting because you know when you have other types of parroting and that can be done in a positive fashion so that will separate uh, cloud chasers click baiters from those with uh, journalistic ethics and integrity to some extent I like it to the most high the, 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 the highest extent other individuals they dibble and dabble or whatever but I also understand that like, when individuals like make a mistake or they say something that's incorrect, sometimes they'll check themselves and edit their video or they'll just make a disclosure or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? And then you have other individuals that will be sitting up there having their guests talking to a screen because they're pre-recorded videos and they're not letting them know. And they're just like, where, where's the host? Your host disappeared and vanished. They was like, deuces. They didn't let you guys know that. Um, go that way. They didn't let you guys know that. And next time, shut the door so there's no background noise. Under like what if I would? Uno momento. Uno momento. When you exit, will you close the door, okay? Did you hear me? All right. So, yeah, uh, then you have individuals that'll sit up there and just wait, 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 because they don't just want to just report any type of, like, bullshit or whatever. So that's, that separates the uh, bloggers. Keep in mind, they don't blog and they don't write. That separates them from influencers and uh YouTubers. So, what about others to the YouTube? What, what about Vlad to the YouTube streets? You know, I don't know how long he's been here. He's been here for quite some time now. And it's amazing how individuals say they Vlad do it. That's why you have your own channel. That's why you're not a creator because that's God, the most divine supreme. You can, you're free to speak about whatever you want so long as you're not speaking about, you know, spreading disinformation and rumors and lies. I told you, I did an exercise in, uh, in college before whatever, and you have to whisper some, and when you whisper some, somebody have to, you have to, uh, the second person have to say what you whisper, and they have to make up another thing, and they have to whisper something else and add that to the, uh, the other part, and it goes on. And by the time it gets to the last person in class, and you be like, okay, so repeat everything that you just heard, it's going to be all discombobulated and distorted, basically. Because people probably can't, recall and retain so much information or whatever 
at the same exact at the same you know what i'm saying time is that they're hearing it so by the time the last person gets it it's just like fake news or it's all just combobulated as i stated and it's a whole sloppy motherfucking mess so I told you the story about when I was yesterday when I was the only person people was mocking and laughing at me and stuff like that. But I actually got to be one of my favorite all time, like one of the greatest legendaries in the motherfucking game artists. So in relating similar situations, it's called correlation, basically. When I was uh in college, my professor knew that she was going to come in here. Obviously, we didn't know this at this point in time and space that she was going to sit up there and act like she was reading out the textbook or whatever and then so she asked the question and she said well oh this is what i believe the answer is or whatever so then she was like what do you guys think or whatever and so then she said abc or whatever raise your hand if you think this raise your hand if you think that or whatever so a majority of individuals agreed with the professor because of her title so then other individuals looking around she was like no i need y'all to look in my eyes or whatever and just raise your hands of course but the more people start raising their hand people like they were you could tell people they self-doubted they um doubted themselves because they was about to they was like and then they end up just raising their hand and it would be people that you would never ever suspect you guys so the professor was she was pissed off she didn't really just let it show she didn't curse or nothing she was just like so i could literally stand up uh, stand up here and um do a lecture or whatever and ask you guys what's your take on it and what do you think the uh, correct answer is or whatever and just because of my title you will literally jump and dive into a deep dark rabbit hole and jump over the cliff as the blind leads the blind basically she was pissed off so other people people think because they're the majority you know how people have large numbers over the large numbers sometimes or whatever and they don't care what type of content they're additional if it's gonna ruin someone's career life or whatever Spread disinformation, fake news, or whatever. Rumors, gossip, or whatever. They think because everybody raised their hands. Only a few of us was just like, I don't know. I know what the answer is. And that's not, no. We know this because you did a lecture. And we also had to remember what we read previously from, uh, you know, reading a textbook when you have to, you have a, when you have assignments. And you come back, a, you know, a day or two later. I don't remember how, what the block was or whatever. And I'm like, no, me, other individuals, and it was just a few of us or whatever. Darling, it's, uh, I'm going to call you back. It was just a few of us, and my the professor was so, did, she was shocked at a few people, and she was so mm -hmm. disappointed, basically. Why isn't this still charged? My Lord. She was so uh, disappointed or whatever. But individuals had never had, like, I was, don't be a follower, that's the best advice that I could give to individuals. And even if you feel as though you are the only one against 10 million or the only one against 1 million or the only one against 22,000, be you and do you. And you always walk with confidence, basically. Not to the point to where you're an egomaniac because you're also you're always supposed to check your ego and never allow your ego. I mean, master your ego, never allow your ego to master you, basically. So that is the no jewel, jewel dropping. And as you, if y'all haven't <laughs> realized it by this point in time and space, I never want to do counseling for the simple fact I need my scruples, darlings. Probably listen to therapists and darlings. <laughs> They'd be having to be like, I need some wine after this session. I was like, I see why now. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what my next route is going to be after this. Periodically, I'll probably still check into the YouTube streets or whatever. But for the most part, some uh, a lot of individuals uh, have made great and excellent strides and they have progressed or whatever. Obviously, they know this anyways, but it doesn't, it shouldn't take a stupid award. It shouldn't take, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a big girl. I'm a big boy now. You see my plaque? I see a lot of individuals earn medals in D.C. that they didn't truly deserve because I'm like, what did you do? Did you go to work? No. Did you write a book? No. Did you? You get a car, you get a car, you do look, you got to not overdo it. You're going to work, you're going to work, you're going to work, you get. And I will call you back. You're going to work, you're going to work, you're going to work, you get. 
And that's what uh, people want to see what happened to it. It's not all of society or whatever, but it's just watered down and it's over. It's like saturated or whatever. And individuals' IQs at an all-time low as well. I mean, it's a lot of, it's a combination of things. So you never let allow individuals, as I was stating yesterday, to the, never allow individuals to trick you out of your position, whether it's uh, from the academia world or what have you. <clears throat> so this is not going to be a too long of a, uh, a live because I'm hoping to come back perhaps later and do not hold it to don't hold my feet to the fire on that some individuals will leave their guests hanging i'll be like y'all be talking about celebrities be like y'all be tarted for your own party be like eyes coming eyes coming oh and they never coming people be sometimes people be up real late just hanging 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 Real businessmen and women ain't gonna wait for no, they don't wait for anything, darling. Nothing, nothing at all. And then obviously certain type of people, if you know all oh, this person is going to be late, darling, or whatever, they can get away with that type of stuff when they have the blood, the sweat, the tears, the grit, the iron in the game, for the most part. So um who are you? Where do you come from? Uh, don't tell individuals what your occupation. You can tell individuals what your passions are, but people are just like calling people's jobs, calling people racist, calling people coon, doing all this and doing all that. When they wake up five or ten years later and they see that their cities look like Detroit or California or some parts of Louisiana, they're going to be like, where are all the people going? Where are the businesses? The, the businesses are going to go wherever the people go. It doesn't take rocket science to figure that out. The level of the points that there are people like, why is it a great recession? Probably because people are sick and tired and a lot of individuals probably are housewives and they really don't have to work and they do it because they're passionate about it. I.e. educators who are competent. I.e. counselors who are retiring in droves. Real ones, not fake ones who like to hit federal licks. Like Felita Hannibal. Then I was Scooby Dooby Doo. See, it is. It's gonna be deserted. See, individuals probably probably weren't raised in the eighties in the see what 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 a region that's deserted looks like. Individuals know what it looks like, especially when they had to tear down the projects. But individuals moved well before they tore down the projects because they wanted more for their children. Other people just dragging around like, what is Wolf Swedes going to do? You mean all them 30, 40, 50, 60 years you've been in the projects and y'all grandparents or your mothers didn't know what to do. But they do know how to go and buy expensive shoes, splurge, have you looking like you're about to rock the mic and you don't have no talent at all. And even if you did have talent, what does you have to do dressing flashy and stuff when you really can't afford it or whatever? And you should be learning more about financial literacy and how to get out of the hood. And that's not a jab at everyone because some people didn't really sometimes don't always have a chance. Especially if they don't, you know what I'm saying? Know any better. So, and everybody will not be able to go where you are going. And that's I going to keep on drilling it to, like, putting it in your head like and that don't that's cliche it doesn't take rocket science y'all y'all never see me try to i'm gonna use jargon so that individuals taxpayers and consumers will not understand and comprehend what i'm speaking about because i just want to just sound smart y'all never see me use too much jargon running circles around individuals using random discussions and topics to sit up there and check their temperature Check their critical thinking skills or check their social humor skills. Yeah, I'll do that all day. As far as deceiving individuals and tricking them, lying to the audience, nah. And I don't like magicians, okay? I'm monstered up and I don't fuck with clowns. <clears throat> no shade on the magicians, though, but I'm just like, all that. I'm going to pull it. <laughs> that penny did not come out of my ear going somewhere and make it make sense. 
Okay, you guys, you guys, you guys, let's go, let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Okay, let's see what your boy Jordan uh towers is. He's like, yes, you. Yeah, I don't know. So I skip over like messy parts or whatever, but sometimes individuals be dropping some like funny content. And uh, I like you to humor me, basically. And that's why I try to humor individuals as well, even with the subtle language, because at the end of the day, pay attention to the teachable moments. Eminem. <laughs> Y'all are silly, 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 silly. The boy is always taking pictures. Okay, y'all acting like Joe Rogan. My my best friend is Chris. His Chris, <laughs> like no, my friend friend is Chris Pratt. We're not a child be taking pictures with each other. Good lord, unless Jordan Tyler using a fake thumbnail. My name is. P my name is. P my name is. P See, I'm shady. Wait up, ain't yep. Y'all boys make me sick, and y'all doing that cypher thing. Girls is gonna, blow. that's why I kicked out. I got kicked off of Twitter for tweeting Kanye, y'all. And it was just lyrics like I tweeted Eminem. And now you know that shit was hitting. <laughs> I said, let me go ahead and get that rehab album. And I'm sitting there going to take titles from all that, but I'm going to come up with some, some, you know what I'm saying? Some bars for bars. We got bars for days. Kicking in the industry in major ways. I'm kicking in the doors, bitch, in major ways. Yes, and when I'm a Libra, y'all, he Libra gang gang too. Y'all know that some of y'all first started celebrities or whatever, uh, some of them were cool, not because of the sign, it goes by their experiences or whatever, and it's a combination of things. But when it comes to Zodiac, y'all gonna have to sit up there, go and fuck with the astrologers or whatever, they do all the constellation shit. He be like thinking, oh, if they're a certain sign, oh, what? no, there's two signs. If you are not crazy with a C or A Z Y, generally there's two sides to each sign, basically. So you just check the probability out on that. But then you have individuals who are off of the Richter scale. It doesn't mean that they are a C or A Z Y. Some of them just like to play insipid, i.e. stupid. Some of them like to play stupid, slow. I like to say the R word, but I'm going to make up something else. I want to be, you know what I'm saying? I want to say... I have to find another word to use. Okay. All right. Jordan Robots is, I call him Robots, y'all. Jordan's Robots is still sleeping. So he'll come in. He'll probably pop his head out. I mean, his head out and see you soon. Tia, I'm going to sit down, bro. <laughs> Tia, I be trying to be a preacher. Oh, don't come to ATL. I said it'll be on site with the fake pitch. I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> all right, that's it, and that's all, darlings. <laughs> y'all, boy, look, get off of Drake, boy. Y'all love y'all son Drake, and so do we. The girls love Drake. They be going super wild. I don't even know why they be just like, oh, Drake, look at I got a picture with Drake. Why you show these crazy? Now they like fanning out. Uh huh. Why you didn't come? Drake don't want. <laughs> Y'all see how the pink needs be in these YouTube streams? <laughs> but uh, Champagne Pop is uh, sweet, but don't get on his bad side because everybody have a side that you don't want. You know, you can't just poke people and poke them and poke them and poke them and poke them or whatever. But so that's superstar mega star status, basically. And there are going to be individuals that's going to come behind your favorites, you guys. And it doesn't mean, yeah, because they retire. They're not going to sit up and openly like, oh, y'all have to warm up and get used to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Different, not different artistry, but y'all got to get used to different artists and entertainers. They can't stay there. Do you really, like, no, go and retire. <laughs> Do you really want your grandpa being 70 years old be like, it ain't nothing but a G thing, baby? <laughs> even though the age was great, y'all, you couldn't even, like, <laughs> 
Oh, y'all. I came out with the boys. And we thinking this pod shit ain't Joe Bun think he's story. Boy, definitely everybody been doing this mm-hmm. pod shit, baby. It's about how you touch a life that makes it so motherfucking remarkable. You heard me. Yes. <laughs> Snoop knows it. I know he done seen that picture already. I was more fascinated by the helicopter and stuff. He who chopping it up, drinking a honeycan with Devin. <laughs> Darling, Snoop, what? <laughs> Cause Snoop, y'all know the look when they cool, copacetic, and chill. They know how to keep secrets and stuff. When a when the Irish can never coming through the little UFO alien, Snoop and all up. Snoop on up. <laughs> Eminem probably like dog. She telling the truth, dog. You seen the picture? Snoop and look, y'all, get y'all uncle. <laughs> Get your uncle. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, black is so beautiful. Okay, y'all. Dang, uh, Dougie Fresh be. Oh, that's one thing. Dog, when people know how to do that, that should be so called, y'all. People used to do that in the hood. I eat them just, I eat them projects. <laughs> y'all tripping man y'all tripping I think I'm gonna name this episode at the end of the day what y'all think <laughs> and yes I am very goofy y'all when I meet people I'm either gonna be super quiet or super goofy I put I think I was nervous Snoop Uncle Snoop lying I think I was there when I met because everybody else was chopping up and then that's when I feel that technology was on some bullshit because people was like, can you take a uh, can you take a picture when people was asking me? And I was like, yeah, but just don't, you know, just, you know. And then I was like, that was like, I don't see nothing. These people thought they was crazy. And I tried the one. I'm like, I don't think you want me to get in the camera because I don't have no facial recognition. <laughs> I don't want you to think that I'm Casper. <laughs> that girl looking so. She was in a wheelchair too. Well, one of them. She was like, what the? F-? She tapped a girl. The girl. She was. Like, <laughs> I would just. That was so embarrassing. But then people thought they thought that that was like the fuck is this. I ain't got time to put out y'all Instagram and all y'all other little shit or whatever. She couldn't see me in the camera. She could see herself. She could see something was next. It was crazy, y'all. K R A Z Y, crazy, darlings. And that was not funny either. I just was like, this girl is gonna think that I am not standing next to her because she cannot see me. How y'all think? Do like this, and she was using her phone, and she thinking something wrong with her phone. <laughs> I said, maybe it's a glitch. <laughs> That was embarrassing. But um, yeah. Eminem is nosy. Bro, do you have don't you have some girl do you have a girlfriend or a wife yet, darling? Libra gang gang. He <laughs> say Libra gang gang. They have all the Libras gonna come out. And they got talent too, y'all. They superstars and megastars. Some of them a little because Eminem would. Who? Slim Shady? Take it down notch, Slim Shady. All right. Talking about dragging it, okay. And people learn and grow and develop as an artist, y'all. So, uh, y'all can go ahead and get get that white boy his flowers. Get a, get a little Mr. 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 Green now. Y'all know shit about music and music, y'all. Music and music. It's theater, arts, and entertainment, man. And you know this, man. <laughs> Oh, y'all. I know. Snoop trying to hold. I already know the gig is up. It's all good. Y'all boys be cheating. That's why us girls, we ain't going to do that. Like, you, you, we ain't going to pretend like, oh, we going to. The boys be cheating. They sit up there, pull up on each other, be meeting each other like Prince me, Tavis Smiley and stuff, and then be giggling and shit like that or whatever. I ain't saying Prince giggle. I, I never met him. Somebody met Prince's top right-hand woman. I'm not going to mention her name. And yes, I have a I can get the picture, put it, but I ain't want to put it in my phone. And she's remarkable too, whatever. It has some type of da 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 whatever. But yeah, mm-hmm. Travis think he don't know what stories about. But yeah, y'all know how y'all be doing it up there. 
he can't even finish the sentence because he don't know what I'm talking about. But mm -hmm. yeah, y'all boys be cheating. Um, that, that's why. Look, y'all. That's why the girls have to start their own podcast. We ain't just sitting up there be trying to pretend let's stage it. We don't have to stage nothing. The boys are cheaters, y'all. And it says a lot about them as well. They be like, oh, me me at the, we'll pull up, me me at such and such or whatever. Let, let me see the picture. <laughs> um, yeah, but when I'm uh, man, Devin to do, I had a drink a Heineken. Tell me, tell my print boy, look. Look, if I had a chance to do a pimp C too, I would have. And I could have pimp C was cool. Let the let let y'all tell it. Yeah, baby. Oh, since Snoop wanna be sent. I don't know what y'all boys on or whatever, but you can go ahead and get Jada all his flowers. Yes, baby. Jordan was like, What? I shot that video. I know that. How you think I know who you are? Or know of you. I've never met you guy. But uh yeah, uh yeah, yeah, we finna ignore the boys and I don't know if they finna draw some new drink. I thought y'all was a t <laughs> the boys cannot sit down, they be like, look, we done age for grace, they still send up <laughs> It's so much trouble in the LBC, it's kinda hard being Snoop D or double G. <laughs> Let me stop Foster. Let me stop y'all. Oh, the boys, y'all, oh, y'all are weird. Look at that, you guys. This isn't this. This is so what I say. Look at this. Look at this. You see, we don't have to do this face shit. The boys be on their face shit and taking pictures and pulling up on Les Jordan Tower, put up a very archaic and aged and dated picture, which would be some bullshit as a thumbnail. We be, look, y'all, let me show you this. Let me show you this, darlings. Mm, look at all this greatness. Oh, y'all be my different devices work differently, so it take me a minute. Look at all that greatness, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Tim. We don't have to do it, the boys. Do y'all cheat too much? Look at that, y'all. Look, I'm gonna start telling people that's my sister. They gonna be like, "Oni, Oni, can Natasha look for <laughs> No, not Latoya out there. Not the Latoya in ATL. Latoya looks like Casper. Truly. She looks like she's the color of Drake. Okay. Yes, y'all. Yes. Y'all trying to select the avatar. What y'all think about her? I want to turn myself into a cartoon. <laughs> My cousin know how to do it. He'll fool with the IT shit. He's been busy, though. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I should show my cousin. She's gonna get mad at me if I people do not. They don't like that type of stuff. They know they're not famous, and that's probably why they don't like that type of stuff. This is another one of my faves, you guys. Look at that. Do it, me. Let's dance. Oh, I like this one. Meow. You want a party? And this what Ricky Smiley used to do back in them houses be all over Ricky. Come on by, I'll hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> them houses be all over. I'm surprised they ain't telling no stories. Bussin'. Boy, get off of me, Snoopy. Boy, y'all niggas ain't ready. Get, get, stop jacking. Stop jacking the girls. Stop jacking the girls. Oh, Nikki, what shall we do, darling? <laughs> Cyril's like, hold on. <laughs> she did that be with shit good. <laughs> now you see it? Now you don't. See, the girls be doing stuff cute. The boys be like, they be blinking too fast. They don't see it, then they vanish and disappear, babies. <laughs> kind of like a ghost in a shell, that is. Who the lady know about being a director? Let me find out, boy, back black. The black and blue. What tower? What is that black? Oh, no, that wasn't me. Let me find out what that is about. Red tour, darling. I was tired of being neighborly. And I was tired of being friendly. 
All right, you guys. All right. Uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to let's chip and more chatter with you guys really soon. <clears throat> I know people are like, how are you from New Orleans or whatever? Because my dialect, if it comes out, then it means I'm very, very, very upset or whatever. And I have enough discipline to calm myself right back down if I'm taking to a 20 or whatever. But because I want to practice, you know what I'm saying? Emotional, this thing called emotional intelligence is what's that. <laughs> yeah, that one. And for individuals who have a social disconnect, <clears throat> uh, a lot of individuals, like I've been around so many different people, I never have to explain this, but for some reason, some individuals be like, you know, like we're from the South, so we don't always necessarily complete our entire sentence and we'll just hop on to something else. And, but individuals would know how to complete a sentence or whatever, but if individuals have like thinking skills and if they have, you know what I'm saying, participated in you know what I'm saying? Communications and exercises and drills and all that stuff. That could pretty much finish each other's sentences, basically. And sometimes they do it in real time, too. That has happened before, and it's very eerie when you're saying the same thing at the exact same time. At the exact same time in real time, I'm just like, girlfriend. So... So the girls are going to be on their podcast stuff. And if you are a girl or a girl algorithm in down here below, because I can't see people and I can't see a lot on the YouTube. I filter a lot of stuff, but I know, uh, I know what's hot and what's not. But yeah, people be having a social distance and they be like, I like, we're from the audience. Like, even when we talk, oh, can you give me that thing? Or do this doing the people will, as long as you're looking or giving them some type of clue or tip or whatever. Yeah, that part. And I told y'all, I don't live in Texas and Louisiana. No, we don't even have to explain it to white people or whatever. Because <laughs> when they're well-versed or whatever, people are basically are more alike, than, more alike than different. So, yeah, uh, the curves and conversations. And then you have, I'll put, I'll put the link in the descriptions below. Boys are not, I mean, you're allowed, but when you come and visit us, be on your best behavior because I'm a moderator and I will kick your ass out of the chat. That is. Because I know this nigga named Aaron. He came and said, boy, why are you here? You're trying to bring, bring the beast up out of me. Not physically or whatever. He he made sure he just wanted to make his presence now, darling. First, give me a beer, Uncle Snoop. Y'all be saying Snoop uncle would be dancing and stuff and doing all he look good for his age too or whatever. Snoop, is you related to somebody? Mm. There's some funny stuff going on. Am I being pranked? In 50 cents, you stay as far away from me, sir, as you possibly can. Because 50 be sent up there. He be knowing where them hot spots be at too, whether it's the club or the stores. Y'all be and I literally stayed inside, would not go anywhere. Sergeant thought someone was wrong with me. I said, I'm not going to know at no liquor store with it because no, whoop, no, 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 no. And besides, hi, again, saying the OG, and <laughs> I sit up there, be getting their head patted like that little midget and stuff. Yes, thank you. Yes, boy, oh, yes. So, yeah, y'all. Mm -mm. Yes. Yeah, you guys be like, mm. I literally stayed inside too. Because he used to always come real close. I was like, uh uh, no, absolutely not. Mr. is key, darlings. <laughs> now, when people send up their love troll, and they'll be like, did y'all see it? People are like, see what? Exactly. <laughs> no, they can't see the ghost. All right, you guys. I hope you guys had an amazing social experience once again. You're going to keep hearing me say that or whatever. Some of you are very cool. Some of you have some unique personalities, basically. So that's the point of it all, basically. Okay? This is what people do when they're from New Orleans. Sit it right there. I mean, it was no necessity. I'm going to swallow that because God know the other stuff that was in that bag. It was absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. I got some chicken and some fries. Boyo. Boyo y fritos. How do you say? Como se dice uh, fri fri fries in Espanol? 
Gotta be like, I got it. I get. I didn't get no F on my test. <laughs> you got an F on your test. The boys did that is because they cheated, and I already knew they were going to. They be pulling up and doing all kind of sneaky things. Y'all need to learn how to communicate or whatever, and that's why Drake said girls love girls. All right. So this has been a exclusive edition of Crowns and Tea with your favorite means girl, me girl, your fabulous, my sweetest tech princess, envy me greatly, proudly suspended. Hey Kanye, how you doing? This girl talk is cheap. Proudly suspended, permanent ban from Twitter. Now I got a jet. Bye. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.